So if you shoot a compound bow, and especially if you shoot an index finger release, you've probably been in this scenario. You come to full draw, your pin settles right where you want it to, and then your brain sends a signal to your hand that says, shoot now, and you go, whack. That's called punching the release. And most archery coaches will tell you, don't do that. It's generally considered bad form, but I've seen it work really well in hunting scenarios. I've seen it work well in target archery. So that kind of got me thinking, can you punch the release and be accurate? So I did a little ex experiment right here in my backyard home range. Um, I shot 60 arrows at 40 yards at a 60 centimeter target. 30 of those arrows I shot with what most people would consider good archery form. So that's when you come to full draw, your pin settles and you want that shot to break within a couple seconds of your pin settling on the target. So it's floating, it's floating and I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing and the shot will break somewhere in that two second window. So I shot 30 like that. The score was a 288. If you're not familiar with a 60 centimeter archery target, the, the 10 ring is about an inch. Um, I'll throw a graphic up on the screen so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. But anyway, so the score was a 288 without punching. I did 30 more shots while punching. So that's full draw. The pin crosses a 10 ring and I'm just hammering the trigger. And immediately, the shots were really good. Um, you know, I shot a 30 off the bat, you know, 28, 29s, and my X count was really high, much higher than when I was just squeezing the trigger. So I kind of thought I was on to something, but kind of in the middle of the round, my aim wasn't as good. Um, started to get a little twitchy at full draw, a few of these little, little hiccups, got a little, little jumpy there, and my scores dropped, you know, 998, 997. Um, there in the middle and but towards the end what I did is I just kind of recentered myself and instead of like doing this wind up punching what I did was I just kind of rested my finger here and then when the uh, pin crossed the 10 ring I just hit the trigger so less of a wind up and that seemed to help um, I shot you know 229s to finish the round ended up 279 I believe it was I'll correct myself if, I, if I'm wrong there, but about a nine point difference in the two scores. So the non-punching was definitely more accurate, but the punching showed some promise. You know, you definitely can be accurate. It's not the end all be all when it comes to the, the main issue. Um, but I think the problem with punching is the problems that it causes down the line. You know, we kind of saw that in when I was getting a little twitchy there in the middle of the round. But enough talking, let me show you what I'm talking about. I have my 3D target at about 30 yards. I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna not punch, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we got a target down there at 30 yards. First arrow is gonna be a no punch. I'm gonna follow it up with a punch. Here comes a punch. right next to it. All right, so we have two shots about an inch from each other with very different release execution methods. The non-punch, uh, right in the 11 ring, the punch shot about an inch away, uh, but still in the 10 ring. I can't say that punching made this shot any less accurate, and I have some thoughts on it. We'll go over that right now. I just showed in that quick example that yeah, you can be accurate, while punching the release. And you can watch you know, hours of some of the top pros punching the release aids and winning big tournaments. So there's no doubt that you can punch, be accurate, win tournaments, kill animals, all that. But I still wouldn't recommend it for most people because punching can lead to bigger problems. Target panic, there I said it. Punching is also a symptom of a bigger problem going on in your shot. So don't take this video as a say, I have a license to abuse my release aid. That's not what I'm saying. But if you have to punch, let's say you're shooting in the wind, you have an animal that is gonna be 
taking a step in you know, a split second, shot needs to happen right now, yes, you can punch, maintain your form, you know, don't move your bow arm, don't move your shoulders, good follow through, and you punch, the arrow's gonna go right where you're aiming. Especially if you're shooting an index finger release, that's why I mo mo mainly hunt with these because they are the easiest to punch of all releases. So if you're gonna punch, punch with an index finger, and if you're gonna punch, do it judiciously, don't do it all the time, and you're gonna have a lot of success this fall. I'm Scott with Outdoor Life. We'll see you in the next video.